What's good, world? What's good, people? You already know who it is. DC's best street poet, Tragic T R A G Y K. And you're now tapped into what's the motivation? Don't get in without a fight. Who I work with in the DMV in the industry. Um, well, shoot, DMV, man, I, I work with quite a few little people, but I mean, we're gonna go in, man. I done work with uh, XO, um, I done work with Doshi, Capone, uh, Lean Balao, uh, Rushum, you know, uh, from uh, Dro Boys. I mean, I, Shouts out to my man, Lil She, he coming up, Lil She. Um, Tasha Cash, which is my goddess, is she coming up as well. Um, I, I am Paul McKinley. Um, shoot, who else, man? The uh, Auto God, man, which is my man. Shouts out to my man, Lambo. Uh, it's it's a quite a few people, my man, Benji, I mean, you know, you know, it's crazy, you know, it's a bunch of people. I can say, I can't name all of these people, but I can say it's a bunch of uh, um, LB, LB Smooth, uh, Jay Bomber, uh, uh, Eddie Black from uh, Question of Asylum. Um, I gotta shoot. It's, it's a lot. I would say my passion is, man, the love of it, the love of music, period. Um, the sound, the feeling, um, the words, um, the emotions you, 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 you explore, you know, you experience through music, you know what I mean? You know, they say music soothes the beast. And you know, a lot of us is beasts out here, let's be real. And what makes me fall in love with it is the way that I make people feel when I decide to do my music. And the way music just make you feel, period. But the way that I make people feel, I think that's why I fall in love with it most. And it's just something that I always gravitated to. It's something that when I was mad, happy, sad, it doesn't matter what emotion I, I was in, it was always there for me. Not like a person, you know, it's just a person, people could be not reliable sometimes, but music, it's always reliable. It's, it's, it's always like, no matter what emotion you feel, somebody's gonna connect with you. So that is my passion to connect with people. That is my way to connect with you without me having to picking up the phone and calling you and see how your day is going. So if I'm a if I wanna change how people perceives the world, then I have to be able to connect with them on a level where the words are universal. So I don't have to break anything down more further than the record itself. So that is my passion to connect with people and that's the way that motivate me to make the records, to make the music, to be the entrepreneur and the artist that I, I'm definitely destined to be. The great one, with the great ones, the legends that you talk about every day, even though they not dead. So that's my passion, to connect with people on a universal level. I love my city, don't kill me for this. Definitely don't kill me for this. I love y'all to death, man, but don't kill me. We're not being original enough, as we once was. We're not implementing enough of our culture and our, you know, inspiration to the game, you know. Just like where I got new balance on my feet right now. And I'm not gonna say no names, I'm just saying certain areas around this area feel like 
that they was the ones that first started wearing New Balance. But see, I feel like if the scene was stapled the way we had it going at first, of being original, of being, oh, this this what a DC dude looks like, this what a DC artist, like this is what DC music looks like. Everything was becoming um, original. We bagged back from that for some reason. You should be proud of where you come from. You should be proud of the way you talk. You should be proud of the way you wear your clothes. You should be proud of what you wear, who you wear. And if that so happen to be people from your area, then be proud of that. Make that original. Make that the staple, because every other city and every other state make certain things of them or what they do a staple of we when you go to LA and you see them with some dicky khakis on you know that's some LA type vibe why because they've been doing that but then they made it a staple when they came out where is our staple at besides go-go music and I feel like we need to get back to the staple that made us the city that we are we always complain about are we the D we the first letter of the DMV. That's true. So don't, so why not we let's stop being the first? Stop saying that we the first letter and start being the first letter. And being the first letter is being original. It's taking what you do on a normal base and make it hot to the world. If you sit, if you, if you ride around and Caprice, Caprices, flyed up, listen to go-go music, when museum, when, you know what I'm saying, all these local, you know what I'm saying, type of clothing line, eating and so on and so forth. If that's what you do on a normal base, you supposed to make that hip to the world. Period. You don't supposed to change who you are to be hip to the world. The world's supposed to be hip to you. And so when we complain about, oh man, they ain't giving the city enough credit and ah, 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 that's cool. But think back why, if you was a little more original, if you stood out a little more, be proud of your lineage and where you came from and where you are from, we wouldn't have that problem. People would know, oh yeah, when you went to some museum or some eat, yeah, you from the city. Just saying, oh yeah, oh shoot, they they don't rap, they don't have a D, they don't have a DMV flow, man. All them youngest can flow. They got all different types of flow. They got hip hop flow, they got man pop flow, they got trap flow, they got rap rap flow, like they got cool, like it don't supposed to be a cesspool. We never, we always been original. We never locked into gangs that wasn't really our style. We stood strictly on streets and mobs and crews. So we need to have them same principles that we once had. And if we have them same principles, no one can take our identity, period. And I'm talking to DC. I'm not talking to the whole, it's, no, it's not like I'm trying to clue out this, but we have a problem. The city has a problem. And so our problem is the identity crisis. So what we need you to do, instead of complaining about identity crisis, start changing the identity of the crisis. And like I said, it's going to be a lot of people that say, oh man, you ain't, well, why you say all this and this and that? But it's some things that you need to look in the mirror sometimes. If you want to straighten some things out, you got to look in the mirror. You can't keep pointing a finger at somebody else. If you ain't making strides for them to notice who you are. So, DC, let's get back to originality. I feel the same. The scene has changed because we lost originality. And we ain't been proud of who we've been for a long time. So that's how it changed for me. Man, I worked on... I got a couple projects I shoot. I got the 
Um, the project that kind of, I'm gonna say, kind of kickstarted my whole little like, you know, wave was you know the leverage. I, um, I spent I spent dollars and cents on that album. You know what I'm saying? Getting that out. Um, all my money. I put all my money up for that project, man, which, you know, we did some things. I traveled to uh, Connecticut, you know, Florida, New York, um, shoot, North Carolina. I done traveled a lot of places over that particular project. Um, before that, I had Trap Trials and Tribulations. Um, uh, after the leverage, I done had, uh, what was the other one? Okay, um, Breaking Bread with the Family. I had like a mixtape with my crew. Um, before that, um, and, uh, uh, I got other projects coming as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm all, I also uh, put together a mini mixtape. It's called uh, City of Dreams. It's unreleased right now, but it's coming out. I'm still putting tracks to that. But what we're working on now is uh, I got uh, some new banging singles coming, bedded up. Um, that's a no-go, y'all look out for that. And far as a project is concerned, I'm gonna put out six singles. And whatever songs take off from them, uh, I'm gonna put six singles out and they all gonna come from three projects. And whatever songs take off, that's the project you gonna get. I got a lot, I got like five projects lined up, I can name them all, but I'm gonna surprise the crowd. Depending on how these records do, these singles do, these six singles do, or if two singles do good off of the same project, then that's what y'all gonna get. That's the vibe. I'm gonna let my fans catch a vibe. I'm not even gonna be, oh, I got this coming, I got this coming. It's what y'all want. So I'm gonna give y'all of a, of a lot of records to pick from, and I'm gonna give y'all the vibe y'all want. That's what's coming next, whatever y'all want. To all my audience, to all my fans, to all my supporters. To all my friends, to all my family, to all my loved ones. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Regardless if you showed up at a show, if you ever bought merch, you ever bought my album, music, you play me, you stream my thing, you stream my music every day and post it on your backstories and all that. I love y'all all, man. Without y'all, I wouldn't be who I am. I'd just be a regular person that loves to do music. But because of y'all, I'm a regular person that does music for a career. And I'm gonna appreciate y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the most appreciation and thank y'all for letting a brother from the hood that has something to say that his dreams come true. Appreciate y'all, man.